In this video we are going to create an expert advisor that can define a trading range. So what is a trading range? You see the two lines here and the upper line is above the highest candle of the last 100 candles and the lower line is below the lowest candle of the last 100 candles and here we have a very narrow range. It is calculated here and it says it's now about 0 0.1659 and we could wait until the range is above 1 if we just want to trade a breakout. Now let's see what happens if the price changes. I will speed it up a little bit here. Now you can see our range grow. It's 0 0.37 right now and now it's above 1. That's a really big candle here and if you like to trade volatility maybe you want to learn how to calculate something like this. Now how can we create an expert advisor that is able to calculate a trading range? To do that please click on the little button here in MetaTrader or press your F4 key and that will bring up the Meta Editor and we need to create an MQ5 file with the name Advanced Trading Range. It has only one function called Void on Tick. Here we are going to create a variable for our trading range. It's a double variable. Now we create a variable for the highest and the lowest candle called Highest Candle and Lowest Candle. This is an integer variable because it's the number of the candle and we need two arrays. These are double arrays called high and low and we sort both arrays downwards from the current candle by using array set as series for the array with the name high and array set as series for the array with the name low. And now we want to fill our array with data for 100 candles. The high array will be filled by using copy high for the current symbol and the current period from the current candle 0 for 100 candles. And we need the highest points of the candles and with copy low for the current symbol on the chart and the current period from the current candle 0 for 100 candles. We now need to know the lowest value for 100 candles. Let's actually calculate the highest candle. That is done by using array maximum for the array with the name high from the current candle 0 for 100 candles and to calculate the lowest candle we use array minimum for the array low from the current candle 0 for 100 candles. Let's create another array for price information. It will be called price information and we create it by using MQL rates. We sort it from the current candle downwards by using array set as series. For our array price information we have created here and with copy rates we copy price data into our array for the current symbol and the current period from the current candle for all the bars that are visible on the chart and the result will be stored in our array called price information that we have created here. So let's create the upper line. First we set the object properties for the upper line. That is done by using object create for the current symbol. It will be called line 1. We use obg underline h line because it's a horizontal line. And this zero stands for the window we are going to use. In this case it's the main window. Some indicators use a window below the main window here and in that case we would use another value. The last two parameters are for the date time and for the price. We also use a zero for the date time 
And this expression here will give us the highest candle of the price information. And from that candle we want to know the highest point. These two lines set the object color and the object width. And with object move for the current symbol and the object with the name line 1, the rest of the parameters here equals the same values we have used above. We want to actually move the line every time our trading range changes. And for the lower line we actually do the same. The only difference is that our object now has the name line 2. And instead of the highest point we use the lowest point for the lowest candle. Instead of the highest point for the highest candle that we have used for line 1. And to calculate our trading range we take the highest high of the last 100 candles minus the lowest low of the last 100 candles. In a last step we will use the command function to output the text the current trading range is followed by the calculated trading range. Now let's compile the code and that worked without any errors. So we now click this little button here or press F4 on our keyboard to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader you want to click on view strategy tester or press Ctrl and R on your keyboard. And here you want to select the advanced trading range.ex5 file, enable the visualization option here and start your test. And this is how it looks like. Right now our trading range is above 4. I will zoom in a little bit and now you can see it shrink. And when it falls below 1 we don't want to trade because now we are in a sideways market. Ok, now you know how to create an expert advisor that is able to calculate a trading range and you have done it yourself with a few lines of MQL5 code.